Hello everybody, this is Go Leader, and welcome to um, Death Island Walkthrough. Um, I'm Go Leader 91 and this is going to be your walkthrough coach into doing this right. Um, I'm not going to start on part one because I'm lazy, just to let you know. Um, so we're going to be starting on chapter two. And if you're wondering, I'm, I'm actually recording on a high-end microphone. So I'm like, the microphone's like literally on my bed and I'm like over here somewhere. So um, <laughs> you can hear everything. That's good. Um, um, so we're going to start um, chapter two. Um, I'm actually, actually almost done with this chapter. So when I get this done, it'll probably be today, hopefully. Maybe not, depending. I don't know yet. So this is, um, these will run at probably about 10, 10 minutes long max as I'll be recording, maybe a little longer depending if I can squeeze in a couple extra seconds. So as we go into the game, um, it asks you, well, there's a new quest, there's fairies. No, no one, wait, there's more, no, oh crap, there's more, okay. <laughs> Alright, so it's just loading all the, all the things that I had before. Okay, so basically, um, this guy has asked you to get some gas for him, for his, his the gas tanks are right here. These are what you bring back to him, and you put them here. And let me just get you acquainted with the game itself, because it can be um, some kind of confusing. I know I was confused when I started this game. I'm like, what is this? So basically, this is called again Death Island, and you're on this island. It's a big island, actually. I can show you a map actually right now. Um, show you a map. So this is half a dead island, and this is the rest of the dead island. Here's hotels and and uh, pools and bars and all this fun stuff. Um, so that's cool with that. Also. This game has, you can or have quests, or like things you need to do for people, and these are what these things are. And you have an inventory uh, section where you can have all your stuff, your hammers, your guns, your baseball bats, your all your fun stuff. And the, so the first last one is called the skills. This is like a left for dead thing. Um, it has survivals. You have to click survival first, and then it unlocks all these. And you can read what it says that it'll give you power ups like increase the slot number, um, this will increase stamina, um, combat, increase this, blah blah blah, increase the kill for five seconds, all this cool stuff. And if you um, when you get all of these, you'll be like invisible. Well, kind of. Um, so yeah, this is one of the zombies right here. Um, he's dead. Um, I don't know if that's his head or what is that, his arm or, I don't know what that is, concerned. But, um, these zombies will run after you and chase you until you hit him or them. I might run into one, oh, there's a couple right there. Oh, there's a lot of couple right there. So these are your uh, walkers, uh, this is level 12. Um, it's funny to think they're not chasing after me, but you have to hit them first, then they activate, and then they chased after you and stuff like that so you can basically walk up to them and chop their head off let's try if we can do that oh no missed oh decapitation you can chop off their limbs their hands their feet whatever you so choose there it goes on the foot kind of bruised them huh so, they will chase after you, and you can kick them too with E, the keyboard E. Um, this is a power up too, that you can increase the kicking power of your uh, um, kicking kicks. So that's one of the good things about this. That you're not going to have just one kick, then you can't do it. And the, um, in this game, they have um, there's all kinds of things. So this is a hotel suite, basically, as I said before. And um, what happened was... That apparently a disease came up and a zombie bit one person and they woke up the next day and then basically that's what they turned into and they kept biting each other and then that's what came to Death Island and the main concept is like Jurassic Park trying to get off the island because typically I wouldn't want to stay here um, there are cars and there are people you run into that are not zombies that you have to help 
It's kind of like a survival help people type thing. Sure, uh, it's kind of a shooter, really. There is a card, but I can't remember where I left it, so I'm just going to run. And that little, um, if you look at the uh, map over there on the left-hand side, you'll see a little circle. Um, that flag is where I need to go. And there are zombies along the way, and they will wake, well, they will wake up if you run... Some of them were already be dead. Oh, this guy has two hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's pretty. Two hundred and seventy-five. So these are um, the weapons you'll find on the floor, basically. Um, they can be holding them as well. Um, you can get them there. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, by the way, when you run, you press hold, uh, shift, but you don't have to press hold it. You can just press it once, and then when you want to stop, press it again, and it'll stop. Um, so basically, um, you want to run over here to the gas station, basically. That's where we're going to go. Hopefully. And there's one right there. I would really suggest if you, you would get a car, um, to do this, because it's very, um, dangerous to do it without it. So we're going to turn over here, and there will be zombies on areas that you will, oh there's a, oh, there's a, oh, there's a truck right there, that's good, we can use that, just kill this one over here. They will, uh, oh, decapitation, yeah, like a boss. So basically you can just ram through them, and uh, they won't be, well, the day of truth, it looks like I'm doing it pretty easy, but I'm actually, sorry, that's my, that's my, that was my girlfriend. I'm making this video for her actually, so I hope she enjoys it. Yeah, and they will do that to you, just so you're aware. They will um, come up to you and just ram you. That that will happen. Um, ooh, chopped off her leg. I actually seen them hop before. It's pretty funny actually. So this is the gas station right here. And, um, oh dear, they're really like vicious now, yeah I died, that's what happens when you die, it's very hard, easy to die in this game, so you really have to get on your toes, um, but the good thing about this, when you die, it won't leave you like, see it leaves you right there, it won't leave you like, at your help headquarters, that's uh, actually pretty cool, I like that, I have not traveled that far. To get what you want, and that's pretty awesome. I like that. So, um, as you can see, we have the. I think it's funny that the uh, the the people just stand there and do nothing. Um, they're just at a standstill right now. Yeah, they move now. Oh, I was lucky there actually. I'm lucky he didn't chop off my head. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, so and a fuel canister that I think you can fill anywhere, I think. Maybe, perhaps. Or maybe it's already full. If you're hearing slushing sounds, it means it's full, obviously. So, I mean, I haven't actually been here, so let's go ahead and activate the, uh, let's put this here so we know exactly where it's, uh, I died again. That's why I edited it out, so I don't want you to be bored of seeing me being mantled beyond belief. I think there's a fire here, that's why I got destroyed. Well, I had the graphics on low, that's why you can't see the fire. Oh dear. Yeah, and they will wake up on you like that. Um, again, they will do that. It scares the heck out of me because you think they're dead. And they're not dead. So, kick him in the face. There we go. So, I mean... Here's uh, here's another thing about this game. Is they have... W w to get your health back up... You use energy drinks like Monster and stuff like that. I think it's hilarious. Um, so doing things like that. I think it's so funny. Um, because it's like... Oh, wait a minute, we're not going to use, we're going to use it on something, here's a, here's a Motov, this is one of the, um, as I was saying before, the, uh, it's a beer can with the beer taken out, and gas, and, uh, 
a, a string of lighter or something. And that when you activate that, you throw it in there, and then boom. You can automatically do that. So with the full fuel canisters... Okay, they're full. Okay, I, I didn't have my sound on. Because I didn't want the... Uh, uh, to pick up uh, my recorder to pick up the sound as well. So that's why I didn't record that as well. So we're going to go ahead and build the vehicles. The vehicle is very... I wouldn't say straightforward, but... It does get the job done if you do do it right. There is... I didn't know that guy was there. Tell you the truth. I didn't see him at all. So, if we go over here... I'm a, a horrible driver. I will crash, just so you're aware. So, I mean, I will... I'm not the best driver in the world. But I'm getting the... I'm actually surprised I haven't crashed yet. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Crashed. So, I mean, it, it, the game is... Oh, I think I'm stuck between two cars. I think so. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm getting out of that one. See, see if I can... I mean, this game is straightforward. I mean, it basically, you just go and do quests, and you do it like that. And I will be making more videos as this progresses. I mean, as I progress as well. But, um, this is what it's going to be like for the next month or so I'm going to be doing these videos. Because I, I, won't, I won't get it right, though. I'll tell you that much. I won't get it right. Okay, so you go ahead and, um, get your gas tank and press F to get it. And you hear it sloshing around. That's good. That means it's full of gas. Supposedly. I don't think it's actually full of gas, just because it's sound, obviously, but it gets the job done. So we give this guy here. Hell, you might find something else worthwhile in there as well. A gas tank. And now we have to go back and get the other one. I could have did that simultaneously and not have to drive back, but I did it. So, I know, sue me. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I won't be talking through the uh, cutscenes, though, because I think that's... People don't like that. They want to hear the story as well. If they don't... If they're not playing it. I mean... I bought this game off Steam. Um, Steam. It cost 20 bucks to download it. I can't believe it. I, as soon as I got that, I, I, t I automatically bought it. Because I was excited about the game. I wanted to play it, and I... Like, I like to do throws like this. I haven't been doing it, them a lot. Um, that's my New Year's resolution, is to do more. Oh, this will happen where you bump and it will... Don't worry, hope. I don't know how his hand's not cut by doing that, but whatever. So we go ahead and go to the gas station. Oh, we're over zombies. Like a boss. Yeah. And they will pop on the road like that, and you just run over them. <laughs> Easier for me to do. Tell you the truth. Oh, I crashed again. These controls are not. Uh, these controls for doing this is not great. I can run into another one. Whoa! They will regenerate. That's pretty hilarious. I think because if you go out of this vehicle and you'll be automatically. Um, well, it seems that there's an electrical fire or something. Because they like die or something. You will, they will push you and you will fall back. That will happen. I don't know if you can go around him or something because he's having a hissy fit or a, a conniption. Whatever you want to call it. I call it conniptions. Okay, there's another one here. So we just grab this and sneak around him. Try not to get hit in the face. He hit me, but I didn't do anything. That's, that's funny, actually. So, we're not going to deal with him. I'm just going to go in the car. Get the hell out of here. So I'm trying to... Oh, they're kind of over here inside. Let's get the fuck out of here, because I'm being scared now. I'm not scared, but I'm like, let's get out of here now, because uh, I don't want to get um, hit. And 
Bastion and stuff like that. So let's go over here and go back into the main road. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't have to back up and do it again. It's amazing. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention when I did that. So this game is basically you doing quests for people. If you like these type of games, like I mean, I mean, if you like to help people in general in your real life, um, this game's good for you. Once you get a quest and you're done, this automatically get another person. You know, you have to go up to them and press F to talk to them. But besides that, it's just better to like have them have you go up to them and then they tell you what to do, you need to do. Stuff like I just want to run that car like that. Like a boss. I don't know why I say that, it's just stupid, but I like it and I'm gonna say it more. Like a boss. I did it again. So, um straightforward. Um this is gonna be as soon as I end the uh give him the uh gas tank, I'm gonna end this session and start up another one. Um because I'm already over my limit already. So let's go ahead and stop the car. There's no brake for this. There's a handbrake for uh, space, but it doesn't really stop your car. You have to like use the uh, backwards button, so when you stop, you kind of go backwards as well. But it seems to be a problem as well. But let's go ahead and put this guy go myself, but, uh, I ain't making right hazard. there. Let's talk to him. Cool beans. Cool beans. I love that word. Quite a while. Here, take some cash. Ain't doing me any good here anyway. Okay, and he get oh wow, he gives you four hundred seventy-five dollars. That's nice of him. Okay, that's done with um quest uh, number ten or quest number twenty-five. I've been done doing a lot of quests for people. So this is probably um we're gonna we're gonna stop and then pick up a little later. So this is Go Leader, and I will be joining you back in a few minutes to do part two. Cheers.